Hello and welcome back to the Pokemon Emerald or Grass playthrough with me, the Journey Monkey. And it's the Crusader. And yep, it's this guy again. <laughs> I swear. <laughs> uh, well, he, yeah, frankly here he's explained the gimmick and, well, no, actually that's the best weapon, the gimmick of this gym. It's filled with fighting type Pokemon, which can kick normal type Pokemon's ass. However, the gym is also incredibly dark, and will only get brighter if you defeat people, so... And I'm already attacked by not one, but two people! And... Is it me, or is... Or do, is it just me, or is that sailor out of place in a fighting gym? Hmm. Yeah, for some reason, sailors are given fighting-type Pokémon. I've never understood why. I guess they do a lot of heavy lifting or something? I don't know. Yeah, one of those things in Pokemon that maybe we should just not question. Yeah, but it's probably better that way. <laughs> so, yeah, we've got the Double Battle, and ah, yeah, new Pokemon we've yet to talk about, Meditites. It's a kind of dual-type Pokemon, an interesting combination, a Psychic and Fighting-type. Yeah. From my experience, uh, I could be going to be wrong, it doesn't seem to have very strong attack power, but it can still be pretty devastated if used right. So. Yeah, and it can be very annoying if it uses detect repeatedly. Oh, god, yeah. Uh, quickly, detect is a move that basically allows you to you to avoid all damage, which, yeah, that's pretty annoying. For... Yeah, it's just, a, it's just a happy thing that uh, it doesn't work that well if it's used in succession. Hmm. Which is a good thing, otherwise, well, it would be incredibly annoying for the most part. Yeah. And, yeah, we're slowly, slowly draining away the help of, of this march shop. And that's the danger of karate oh, shop. <laughs> Holy crap. Yeah, karate shop is a move that most of Fighting Pokemon have at a pretty low level, which on its own it seems okay, but the fact is it has a high critical hit ratio, which means if you're not careful it can take down the half of your HP like it did the Grovile there. Yeah, or in my case, <clears throat> all of your HP. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, you have to be... It sounds simple, all this gym, but you have to be incredibly careful. If you're one of those lucky bastards who managed to catch Ralts and raise it up, then... Yeah, you may have... That's your best chance for this gym, or even Swallow, if you can find one of those, because flying and psychic types are really the only thing that can stand up against fighting types. Yeah. Oh, there is Ghost, but you will not have caught a Ghost Pokemon at this point in the game. Yeah. Except for one. Which is too I bad. <laughs> <laughs> and... Yep, we found the next one. Another battle girl who's wearing tight, tight clothing. Sorry, I don't know what <laughs> <is> on that. <laughs> Please forget I said that. <laughs> oh, God. I found that strangely funny. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't judge me now. <laughs> Quickly, moving on topic. Menace. Men I'm going to switch the bullet seat. I've been using bullet seat up till now because I wanted to try and hit it with Rock 2, but Rock 2 was a fairly low accuracy, I found out, unfortunately. Yeah, and if I recall, it does limited damage to fighting types. Yeah, but I was starting to show off its whole moveset at this point, plus I was kind of sick of using bullet seat. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> but yeah, I quickly found out the hard way that it's not effective again. And so, Rock. Rock, rock isn't effective against fighting types. Sorry, sentences. Oh. <laughs> and yeah, fighting types, they're strong against, well, normal Pokemon, steel Pokemon, rock Pokemon, and I'm trying to remember what the other one is. Oh yeah, dark Pokemon. Did, you, did we mention normal? Yes, yes, we did. Okay. Yeah, basically did anything you... with a tough defense, it's generally the fighting Pokemon that have it covered, so... Yeah, they're the anti-armor. Hmm. Yeah, that's the best way to describe it. 
And now we've got a tiny bit more light, although it's actually not that much in my opinion. I think they could stop being so stingy with the lighting, but... <laughs> I mean, really, how much more does that show? Come on! <laughs> <clears throat> Behold, the action-packed adventures of Pokemon, wandering around corridors in semi-darkness. <laughs> and I must remark that I find it funny that in order to get the lighting HM, mm. you have to go through a dark gym. Yeah, that kind of defeats the purpose, thinking about it. Yeah. What's up with uh, Oh, I'm tr desperately now trying to think of a re effort of someone being able to see the dark, but I can't think of any now. Done it! <laughs> oh, jeez. I can only think of one bit in Yu Yu Haku show, but I doubt anyone will get it. <laughs> well, I can tell. I can tell you, I won't. But <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm. I wish I could say there was a lot more to talk about, but unfortunately the gym is dark and everyone practically uses the same three Pokemon here. It's Machop, Meditite, and a third type, which I don't know if you'll see it in this part, but it will soon show up eventually, which is called Matikuta. I Wait, is that how you pronounce it? Or oh, I forget. Makuhita. Thank you! <laughs> Let's see. Dead end. Done. <laughs> <laughs> oh, curse this narrow gym. Yeah, the lights are about as dim as the commentary is right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, I've done it. <laughs> there we go, another black belt who looks like that. Ah, here we go, something new to talk about. The blob. <laughs> <laughs> the sumo Pokemon, Makuhita. Yeah, this was generally based... Yeah, with that one joke, I've basically just... Taking away the only thing I can say about Maku Huto, it's based on the um, sumo wrestling, and it's big and defensive, I guess. <laughs> yep. Crap, I thought we'd have more to say. Darn it! <laughs> oh, jeez. Darn it, it was going so well the last few parts. Before, we had laughing at people who were staring out of you from offices. We had genius battle obsessions, and now we're stuck to this. <laughs> yeah, now... We have Makuhita. Hmm. Although, having said that, he is kicking Bombray's ass quite a lot. In fact, it's not looking too good. Um. No! <laughs> uh. Time for a big no, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, um, um, Makuhita is constantly using a move there called Vital Throw, which. If you're not careful, it can really do a lot of damage, because it gets stronger if it moves last in the turn and gets damaged a lot, so... Yeah. Hence the name, Vital Throw. And I'm... Retreat. <laughs> desperately running back to heal Lombre, because I know it's going to get pissed off of me for letting it die like that. <laughs> uh, fancy that. Oh. Oh, Fage. But, yeah, uh, I may sound like I'm joking, but from gold onwards, there's been this feature of a Pokemon's mood being affected, uh, of being happy. Usually, they tend to get happy on their own by, by walking around and being with you and treating it with care, although you do have to sort of keep it healed. If you keep it sort of like on lower HP, you're, in worst cases, let it face like I did, then, yeah, it's going to dislike you. Yeah. I'm the amazed my Pokemon don't despise me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, but hopefully, if you... Generally, if you keep them alive throughout the early stages of the game, they'll warm towards you and not mind so much in the later stages when they're constantly fighting against the Elite Four, etc. Unfortunately, this is the early stage, so I'm kind of worried about Lombre. What can I do to make him like me? Uh, <laughs> uh, hmm. Actually, I know it's kind of picky to say this because they're in a post, but those battle girls, you'd think they'd get tired of floating in the air the whole time. 
But thankfully, that's the end of this part. So that was me, the Jelly Monkey. And me, Spin the Crusader. And there we go. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha.